There are three main reasons that a killer will not be played a lot. The first reason is that the killer is too bad. They're simply just too low on a tier list and they don't have that good of a power. The second main reason is that the killer is just too difficult. It takes too long to learn how to use their power and most people just don't want to put in the time to learn a really difficult killer. And the third and final main reason is that the killer just isn't fun to play. Some killers just have clunky feeling powers or the powers aren't satisfying to use or for one reason or another the killer is just not very fun to play. I bring these three main reasons up because I wanted to talk about Demogorgon. Demogorgon is one of the least played killers in the game right now and he's often forgotten about. I don't really see him in many of my games. I could play the game for a full month and maybe see like two or three demos. They're super rare. So let's tie Demogorgon back to those three main reasons that I mentioned. Demogorgon isn't really that bad. Of course he's not the best killer but I think most people would agree that he belongs probably low B tier maybe high C tier. His shred ability can actually be really strong in many loops especially if you know how to use it. Which leads into my next point, Demogorgon is not really all that difficult either. Shred is an extremely simple to understand power. You hold them too and the longer you hold it the further you go. That's pretty much it. His portals again are also pretty simple to use. You put a portal down and then when you put another one down you can go to either of those portals or you can just go to as many portals as you'd like. Pretty simple to understand killer and again he's not super difficult. And the third reason a killer is not played which is not fun in my opinion doesn't tie to Demogorgon at all. The aesthetics of Demogorgon the way you can you shred the way you can use portals once you've set them all up to have constant map control this killer has a lot of potential to be really fun sometimes and some of my favorite matches i've had have been as demogorgon so i think he's a really fun killer so considering these main three reasons to not be very true for demogorgon why is he played so little well i've got two answers the first one is that stranger things uh took away their license from dbd for i think a couple of years and was only recently brought back about a year ago so what happened when stranger things took their license away from Dead by Daylight was that people who had Demogorgon got to keep him but you couldn't buy Demogorgon and he was just inaccessible to newer players so as time went on people just kind of forgot him because again new players couldn't really buy him or interact with him and behavior was just gonna kind of ignore him since they never had the license for him anymore so why would they care about a killer they can't even control really so it makes sense that Demogorgon going away for a few years would have an effect on his play rate. Dead by Daylight has had Stranger Things accessible for about a full year at this point and you still barely see Demogorgons. That brings me to my second reason, and that is Alien. I think it's impossible to deny the connection between Demogorgon and Alien, not only aesthetically, but power related, and we'll discuss that. Alien is just a better Demogorgon in almost every way. I, not every way, Demogorgon has some stuff that's better than Alien, but I think 90% of people would agree that Alien is a better killer than Demogorgon, while also having a similar power. So, for most people, there's probably no real reason to pick Demogorgon over alien. Before we even get into the power, there's some stuff that alien has that's already better than Demogorgon. Alien has a smaller terror radius when they're in the crawler mode, which you're gonna be in crawler mode most of the time. They're also shorter in crawler mode. Xenomorph is generally darker, so any maps that are darker, he's gonna be harder to see. Those are just things that alien has that aren't even related to his power that it's better than Demogorgon. But if you want to get to the power itself, the punishment for missing on alien, missing his tail whip compared to Demogorgon Shred, it's so so much less. After you miss your tail attack, you can move. Also, if you miss as Demogorgon, you can go flying past the loop or you can hit a wall and can be stunned for quite some time. The recovery time on Alien feels a lot less and a lot smoother. So Alien feels better in the M2 regard, but if you want to talk about portals too, sure, Demogorgon has the strength of you can put the portals anywhere, but Alien doesn't even have to worry about setting them up. The portals are always right next to generators or the portals, the tunnels, you know what I mean. They're always set right next to generators. They're set from the start of the game you can go in get your power and then start a chase within like 10 seconds because you know you can go right toward where the survivors spawn and where they are and also you can have an easier time finding survivors because aliens portals provide some sort of tracking if you're in the tunnels while alien you can look up and you can see footsteps and also there's little indicators that point to survivors footsteps so you have an additional tracking benefit with alien that doesn't mean the demogorgon is all bad compared to alien for example as i mentioned earlier his portals can be placed anywhere you want them to be and also his portals are much faster faster to travel through. With Alien, you have to go into the tunnel, then you have to walk through the other uh, tunnel, then come out of that one. With Demogorgon, you just look at another portal, you go straight through it, and you travel pretty fast. I think it's probably the fastest movement in the game, other than maybe like Freddy's teleport, which is instant, obviously. And the final benefit of Demogorgon is that you can't lose your M2 like Alien can. Sure, with Alien, if you do lose your M2, you can get it back really fast, but sometimes it is inconvenient when you're hit by a turret and you lose your tail attack mid-chase. Demogorgon doesn't have this problem, he doesn't have to worry 
about losing his M2. With all of that being said, I think most people would agree that Xenomorph is just better than Demogorgon. And I think it's a perfect example of power creep in Dead by Daylight. So is there a way to buff Demogorgon without making him a lot better than Xenomorph so there's not that neck and neck competition? Would there be a way for him to be stronger and also stay unique? Well, I have a couple of ideas that I think would be good changes to Demogorgon. The first one is that survivors can no longer destroy portals, they can just deactivate them. So if survivors go to disable a portal, you know how they rip it apart, it would only deactivate the portal for like 45 to 60 seconds, but it wouldn't get rid of it completely. I think most people would agree that setting up the portals as Demogorgon is extremely risky because survivors can get rid of them really fast and also they're quite time consuming to put down. So I think something like this would be less punishing for Demogorgon and it would encourage using your portals more. Another feature that would be mostly quality of life is that you know how with Hag if you place 10 traps and then you go to place an 11th it gets rid of the oldest traps? It should do that with Demogorgon's portals. Just in case you don't know, if you put all of your portals down as demo you actually have no way of getting rid of them. You have to rely on the survivors to go and get rid of them for you. So I think a, a reload feature like Hag has would be nice in case you want to get rid of an older portal and just put a new one. Just a nice quality of life feature. And the last little idea that I want to add is that Demogorgon should just be able to put his portals down a little bit faster. Maybe shave off like half a second or maybe even a quarter of a second. What I really want to do is just encourage the portal placing part of Demogorgon. That's a very alliterative. The portal placing part of Demogorgon I think should be a little bit stronger to match aliens while still keeping them completely unique. Because in their current state I think there is really no reason to play Demogorgon over alien unless you're just like a bigger fan of Stranger Things. For the most part I think alien is just straight up 100% better. But yeah that's pretty much it. Uh, let me know your thoughts and thanks for watching.